Okay, there's my wife. All the rest of us have a high altitude pulmonary edema here in Lhasa, Tibet, because the altitude is about, I don't know, 10,000 feet or something crazy like that. But my wife is relishing it, drinking that nasty, nasty Tibetan butter tea and a beer. And what did you order for dinner? Yak meat. And, and what did you say? How strong are you? Strong like yak. I can barely stand up, right? <laughs> <laughs> the stretcher bearers are going to have to take me home from dinner. Because every time I stand up and take two steps, I want to pass out. <laughs> but that's alright. The hotel's only like three blocks from here. And it was all I could do to walk here. I'm going to have to take one of them rickshaw taxis back to the hotel with the kids. And then my wife's going to go out for beers and yak pee with the locals or something. That's rough. That's nasty. That's rough. That's interesting. That's interesting. Gotta watch that Anything you want to say? I'm in Tibet. And I'm about to eat yak. Yeah. You guys are going to go back to the hotel and get an oxygen pillow and suck on the last my it wife's helps. making fun of us. No, you should seriously ask about that because it will help. And it will help the kids big time, especially before yeah. they go to sleep. Right but right after they hem my skirt for me, right? <laughs> no, you're not wearing your skirt. It's tough for some people, I guess, they say. I don't know. I understand that for some people it's tough. It's okay. I need many people on this problem. Karma, sweetheart. It's going to come back around someday. <laughs> so. You're going to get run over by an ox cart or something before we leave. This is my... This is my place. I don't do well in, like, hot, humid... I'll probably get stricken by malaria when we hit Kowloon. Yeah. I'll wait for you in Singapore. <laughs> I'm much more into high mountainous dry and cold than I'm into humid, mosquito-y and... Parasites. You know, I kind of come back with the last of the parasites. Alright, I'm... I can't even hold this camera up any longer. Gonna get video of all the fallen soldiers here. Fallen soldier number one. You're hanging in there, huh? I'm taking video of the soldiers. That's the one thing that we can't do. Okay. I will not take video of any soldiers. I am in Lhasa, Tibet. And my family is in bed because they have altitude sickness. And they've all puked. <coughs> and I'm trying to get them to suck on some oxygen. But, uh, I'm celebrating my first night in Tibet just up here by myself. And I'm on the roof of the hotel. And you can just see there's just mountains all around. And then that thing right there is the Potala Palace. And that is the residence of the Dalai Lama. Or it should be the residence of the Dalai Lama. And the view of it from here is pretty darn spectacular. So we are going down our street. It's feeling better. <laughs> Um, from our hotel towards the Barcourt Square area and uh, there's just all kinds of vendors and hotels and restaurants and there's dad, hey dad there's our hotel, the Do Good Hotel, why not? We're going around Barcourt Square around the Joking Temple and uh, there's a lot of cool places to shop and there's a lot of cool things to see. How are you guys doing? Good. And there's pilgrims that go all the way around the square. Hello. And it's like a pilgrimage. And you have to go clockwise. Hi, Ted. That is awesome. And Teddy got given a yak head as a gift and a necklace and a bracelet. 
That's because mom paid too much for the jewelry in the shop. So they felt the need to give away some stuff. <laughs> hey, I... My bag's still closed, right? Sash. Oh, yeah. Wow. We're all there. Time to night time. They fill up the matria. The matria? What's a matria? Matria means Oman. You can wake up from your ignorance. So you can hear this sound, the sound of Buddha, sound of Dharma, so you feel the old. This time I heard the sound of Dharma, I must do something, I must do something like that. So all of each of them have different meaning. This is the lotus flower, I told you the lotus flower is born from mud and it's very lotus. So this all of they have total eight is together. They're following? You can see all of the uh, devout are walking the barcore loop and they are spinning there. And the super devout are going around it one body length at a time. Like this one right here. Wow. That's amazing. We're doing the two part, white part and the red part. And also these two parts are different time. One is built in 17th century and one is one is seventh century and one is seventeenth century. So that's the difference. The white part was built in seventh century and the red part was built in seventeenth century. He's repairing a straw wall. During the summer time they can keep warm. Dad, Taj! Oh. Keep it as well. Okay, come on, Ted. Have a good ride! <clears throat> oh my Lord in heaven. Is this activity Mima approved? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> this is a massive intersection. And we noticed yesterday that there are no lights. You just have to fight your way through with your horn and your chutzpah. Hey, there goes our buddy. Bye, I'm guilty tomorrow. <clears throat> we made it across, Ted. That's really good. Oh. Family transportation right there. What are you guys having for lunch? 
pizza. Oh, is it good? Hawaiian pizza. Hmm. You having Hawaiian pizza in Tibet? Could you take? Could you take a? Could you? Could you Dad, what did you have for lunch? I had some uh, shredded yak tent. I guess I was wrong. Now he's attacking my book bag. What do you do when you do bed? The rest like, oh no, he's getting the backpack. Oh, get it, get the backpack. I'm playing with a little bed. What are you doing? Oh my god, he's kidding. <laughs> <laughs> This is Joe King Temple and we just wanted to get one more shot of the steady stream of pilgrims that just constantly, constantly, constantly walk around it. Clockwise, clockwise, always clockwise. So we're way up at 13,000 feet and we climbed up to this little village shrine and you can see a really cool monastery right there. And the kids climbed all the way up here. And Teddy is enjoying a well-earned, what do you got? 501 bar. 501 bar, oh. To the victor go the spoils, right, Ted? You brought the video camera. What? Well, I brought this camera because I didn't want to lug two cameras up here. That's a lot of lugging. And this is the village down below that uh, is in charge of this thing. When they climb up and they put their prayer flags on there and that's their hope for Where's good barley crop? season and good crops. What babe? Where's the car? Our car is way down below in the road. Wow. And there's uh, Sasha and Namgil and Daddy having a fiber one barn. Taking a little break. Unbelievable.